Hi, so I'm going to be going over weekly question number four. So this weekly question is about the LDLR gene. So the first question that we're going to be going over is if there is a issue with exon one in this gene, what would happen to the protein cell processes and then what would happen to a human if this would happen if there is a um, mutation to the exon one so the exon one has to do with cell signals cell signaling So this is one of this is the very first exon. So as you can imagine, a mutation to this exon is not good because nothing else can occur. So what would happen is that the process will start. So the ER or the endoplasmic reticulum, endoplasmic reticulum. I'm sorry. Um, cell sequence signal sequence wouldn't be able to signal. So that would not be able to happen because of exon one controls the cell signaling. So this wouldn't even be able to occur, um, which is one of the first steps was the first step of um, this process. Um, so of translation. So translation wouldn't be able to occur. Um, so it wouldn't be able, so the ER wouldn't be able to translate. And then further um, translated. And so SRP will not be able to bind. So SRP is not gonna be able to bind and nothing is going to occur really in the appropriate um, way of the LDLR and translation. So this is like a huge issue if exon one is, has an issue to it. And so in a person, what would happen, which LDLR has to do with cholesterol in the body. Um, so, have you ever heard of LDL, which is the bad cholesterol um, in your body? So, if it's high, then it can mean like type 2 diabetes, you just you have high cholesterol in general, anything like that. So, this would really, if there's a problem with exon 1, it would be in high cholesterol. So, the cholesterol will be high, which means the cholesterol in the cell will be low. So... <clears throat> Um, LDL and the blood, um, so the uh, cholesterol in the cell in the blood will be low, um, and the cholesterol, I mean, sorry, the cholesterol in the cell will be low, and the cholesterol in the blood will be high. Um, so the cell, since it's low, will increase cholesterol, which causes those LDL levels to increase. Um, which is increases transcription and causes those LDL levels to increase. So as you can imagine, this is not good um, for a patient because it can mean type 2 diabetes, like I said, high cholesterol, which would result in medication, increase risk to other health issues, heart issues, anything like that, um, increased plaque in the heart, arteries, because the cholesterol is high, um, they have to go on a special diet. So honestly, a mutation exon one is not that good to humans, the proteins, the cell processes, because everything has to be stopped. And unless that can be repaired, transcription or translation is never going to occur. So because it's one of the it's the first exon. So if there's mutation in that, you can't get past to the like next exon. So now if there's a mutation in exon three. 
a little bit more forgiving here. So Exxon 3 is responsible for ligand binding. So we can get through up to Exxon 3. So the processes with grow as planned. So mRNA will uh, ribosome complex will bind, will form and be translated and be translated. So the mRNA ribosome complex we formed, translated, translation can begin. The ER signaling sequence can signal, unlike if exon one, um, and the SRP. So where this is gonna be stopped is the SRP again. It's just a pretty crucial sequence. So the SRP can't bind because ligand binding is not working. So the SRP wouldn't be able to bind so that protein synthesis wouldn't be able to occur, which is the next step after SRP is going to bind. Um, so translation wouldn't be able to occur after this. So any person that would have this mutation, the exon 3 of LDLR, um, this would actually increase, it, or this would actually result in low cholesterol. Um, so transcription would decrease because of low cholesterol. Because the cholesterol in the cell is going to increase. Unlike when the cholesterol is high, the cell is going is going to increase because transcription is increasing, making the LDL high. So uh, uh, transcription will decrease. Sorry, I wrote increase. I meant decrease. But in high cholesterol, transcription is going to increase. So transcription is going to decrease. So the LDL levels in the cell are going to decrease. Um, and the gene, um, and the gene, the cell, sorry, the cell is going to have enough cholesterol. So unlike high cholesterol, where the cell wants to make more cholesterol, the cell has enough cholesterol, but it's causing a low cholesterol level, which can result in other health issues as well, um, and be put on medication for that as well, which is not good. Uh, exon, having mutation exon 1 is definitely more dangerous um, for a human, but having mutation exon 2 is not good either. Um, so, because the LDLR actually holds a great purpose for the human body, especially when it comes to cholesterol levels. So, that's it.